Hey, what's up guys, it's your boy Robo back again on another video on Dragon Ball Z Final Stand, guys. Now, this video is about Dragon Ball Z Final Stand, prestiging, and possible forms each race could get, guys. These are not confirmed whatsoever. These are my opinion on what I think should be happening, or ideas that I have that you guys can, like, talk to me about in the comment section down below. So, guys, when it comes to different races, I'm going to be organizing this video in terms of the race. It's going to start with Namekians and Humans, then Arcosians and Saiyans, and then Majins, guys, okay? So, if you have any suggestions or anything like that, leave them down below in the description, and tell me what race you have a suggestion for, guys. Most of these are canon or at least have been in the series before some of these are not canon whatsoever and they're made up by other people in the past or something like that but i'll tell you guys when they're not canon whatsoever also guys do me a favor guys go ahead and like the video guys and also subscribe if you're new and let's get right into the video okay everybody so for the namekians i wanted to start off with the demon clan form for the namekians guys okay so if you've never seen dragon ball most of the namekian forms that i have guys started in dragon ball and they're kind of in dragon ball z as well but let me go ahead and start out with the namekian forms here guys so, the Namekian form called Demon Form, whatever I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it uh, Mutated Namekian, because that's actually what it is, not Demon Form. But Snake can call it Demon Form if he wants to. So, the Demon Clan is like a clan that King Piccolo started, which is Piccolo Jr.'s father. They're later called the Dark Namekians or something like that. And so, what these Namekians are, are basically normal Namekians that came to Earth and everything, and they all got changed. They're different forms and everything, like dragons, lizards, and stuff like that. I'm going to be showing images for you guys to see. We have, like, the ukulele type the godzilla type and stuff like that so guys i'm thinking if namekians ever get this form it'd be more so of a, like a speed and melee damage boost maybe sort of like a melee resistance as well because they take a lot of defense boost as well so maybe a melee resistance boost and then a speed boost as well those would be some pretty good stats for namekians to get as well as melee damage as well those three stats would be pretty good for the whole mutated namekian all right guys so for the next thing i want to talk about guys it is the great namekians or the giant namekians now this has been featured in xenoverse 2 i believe and also in dragon ball guys and i want to talk about this it's basically like the grade 8 form but for namekians all you do is grow big and everything now snake has confirmed that he doesn't really want to do forms like this because people growing big may not be a good idea because he's had problems with fighting mo like mobs being big like that so the hitboxes doesn't register so maybe if players are this big it might not be a good idea either but we've seen players be pretty big in the game already. They're like, I think it goes all the way to like 1.7 size or 2 size in terms of your width and everything. So your player can be pretty wide already. I think you should probably implement a system for Namekians and Saiyans to have like a great ape or great Namekian form in which they're bigger and like maybe a little bit stronger in terms of like maybe lower speed, maybe not. <laughs> and then also high melee damage, high melee resistance, and maybe a little bit more health max as well. That'd be pretty cool to add. I don't know, but maybe if he wants to do this, it's a stretch, but maybe not. All right, guys, so for the last thing I want to talk about, it is the Guru Mode. It is completely non-canon, not real whatsoever. This is made up. I saw it on a website. I'm like, hey, this looks pretty cool. It's basically a Guru Mode in which the Namekian gets stronger, but their skin color changes and, like, their clothing gets affected as well. I think it'd be pretty cool for the, the character to get maybe, like, a skin color change with this form. So maybe instead of being, like, green or, like, a shade of green or, or blue or something like that, you can become more like a white skin or, like, a yellow skin character in which you look more like orange tinted or maybe more like dark white tinted and stuff like that i think it'd be pretty cool you still keep like the whole white eyes and everything like from the awakened form i think it'd be pretty cool to add that maybe some sort of red aura as well to make it look more demonic and stuff like that i think that'd be pretty sick so what do you guys think tell me down below in the comment section all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the human part now now for the human race i was thinking this is a little bit of a stretch so maybe like a superhuman form maybe like something like full cow like izuku and boku no Hero academia in which the superhumans get like maybe increased speed enhanced key damage as well and key and everything and hence basically every stat because humans are known for every stat going up and stuff like that i think that'd be pretty cool and now for the next one i was thinking about doing like an ascended saiyan in which all you do is mix mystic with uh kaioken but you change the color and everything maybe the player's eyes glow and his hair or their hair gets another hair added onto it like super saiyan i think it'd be pretty cool to add an ascended uh instead of human ascended saiyan form in which like the player looks a little more like spiffy and buffed up so they look a lot more spiked up in the hair and a lot more like awesome you know what i'm saying and so for the final part of humans i was thinking about adding maybe like a guardian or kami form so we know that kamis are like the god they're like the deity of the earth they like protect the dragon balls and stuff like that that might not be either that's a stretch but the guardians are something that i think humans should get guardians are ba basically the guardian of a planet so like the um the grand elder from namek is kind of like the guardian of namek but he's also like the kami of namek as well but i'm thinking this guardian thing could be like for each race to get a guardian form but the guardians for humans could be like because they're earthlings humans are the, the original earthlings i think it'd be pretty cool for humans to get a guardian form in which maybe like their hair spiffs up and everything they get more of like a white aura maybe like a blue tint such purple tint aura i think it'd be pretty cool to be something like that but yeah we're gonna move on now guys to the arcosian race 
And so for the Arcosian race, guys, I'm thinking the first one be the Frost Demons, guys. The Frost Demon form would be pretty cool. I think it could replace the third form of the Freezer race. Not really the second, but the third one would be pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of Cooler's third form or so before he did his final form, in which he had like that mask and everything. He had like spiked horns and stuff like that. The three horns sticking out. That was pretty cool. I think this reminds me of that. It would be pretty cool for the player to have a form like this, in which there are, instead of being like the typical blue or purple, it'd be awesome for it to be black and red or black and purple. It'd be pretty cool for the player to have that. Like, their gems just get, like, spiked down and everything like that. Their horns go backwards. Their mouth gets covered. That way you don't have, like, that weird, creepy face and stuff like that that most players have. But I think it'd be pretty cool to have this form for the players. Like, maybe their tail gets horns on it as well, and the aura sticks out on the tail as well. It'd be pretty cool. That'd be good for a third form replacement. And then the next form, guys, is what I'm thinking, is the Pure Gold Frieza form. Pure Gold Frieza could be, like, more of a damage boost as well as key max boost because Frieza Race is going to be drained a lot. I'm not too sure about speed on this one because... It looks like it looks pretty cool right guys but the thing is i'm not too sure snake would add this one it'd be pretty cool if like the gem on their head turned pure gold or something like that and then it just covered their entire face because we have two golden frieza forms right now i think but having a third one might be a stretch so i think the next one the metal cooler form might be the best contender for now so for the metal cooler form what i'm thinking is the player will be able to turn into like a metal cooler like cooler did it'll be their final form but metalized and everything we have metal majin why not have metal cooler so Cooler, guys, if you don't know who he is, he's Frieza's brother. He was, like, defeated by Goku in the squad and everything, and it ended up having its own movie and stuff like that, and Cooler came back a lot of times, but in the end, he came back as Metal Cooler. He got defeated, but Metal Cooler was pretty cool. What he did is, like, he died and stuff like that, but he came back to life, and, like, he was recreated. His body was recreated with, like, a metal, like, cybernetic form like Frieza's was, but, like, more in tune, more futuristic and stuff like that. I think it'd be pretty cool for the player to turn into, like, a metal form. It'd be really cool for them to boost the damage speed and also key max not really health because like metal form it was pretty weak in terms of health but it was pretty good in terms of damage dude damage on metal cooler form was freaking op so i think the player would be pretty freaking awesome with this i think snake should add the metal cooler form it's the highest contender in my list for the freezer race to have as well as humans having the ascended human form and maybe the guardian form as well and then the mechians having the demon clan or mutated form as well so guys, the next thing we're going to be talking about is the Saiyans, everybody. Now, 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 I know you guys don't like the Saiyans because they get a lot of forms, but the Saiyans still need their stuff in the future as more things are added. Now, I think the Saiyans should get a Great Ape form because Great Ape would be a really good thing to replace like a previous form or add a previous form to Saiyan, Super Saiyan, or maybe replace Super Saiyan with that if you choose to do it. And then after that, maybe for Super Saiyan 2 or Super Saiyan 3, you could be replacing that with Super Saiyan Great Ape. Now, if you don't know what Super Saiyan Great Ape is, it's from Dragon Ball GT. Now, GT had Super Saiyan Great Ape in which Vegeta or I think Baby was controlling Vegeta when it happened. Or no, Vegeta did it. Goku did as well. Goku is the one that did it. Goku had a Super Saiyan Great Ape form. He transformed into a Great Ape, then went Super Saiyan, and then he got descended and condensed down into another form. Now the next form I'm talking about after Super Saiyan Great Ape, I think Great Ape should be like boosting up your damage and your defense, nothing else. Your speed should probably go down because you're huge. Now guys, the next form I'm talking about is Super Saiyan 4. I think it should require that you be a Super Saiyan Grade 8 before so that you can go Super Saiyan 4. And then Super Saiyan 4 should be just OP, a boost in almost every stat. I think the only stat it shouldn't be boosting in is your health because Super Saiyan 4 can take quite a bit of damage. I think your health should be remain the same. Everything else should go up except for maybe speed as well. That way Saiyans get a little bit more of a boost, maybe at like Prestige 5 or 6. I can get this one. Everything else could be at like Prestige 3 or 4. But Super Saiyan 4, I think it should be a DLC of some sort. So that way not all players have it because... It's going to be OP, guys. You can argue with me on this, but Super Saiyan 4 is stronger than Super Saiyan Blue, guys, okay? Mark me on that. Super Saiyan 4 is stronger than Super Saiyan Blue. It, it is. It's confirmed and everything, guys. Just keep that in mind. But Super Saiyan 4, guys, I think it's pretty OP. I think it'd be pretty cool to add for the Saiyans in the future. Not for a long time. Not until the other races get their stuff. But it'd be pretty cool for the Saiyans to get that as well. Okay, everybody. For the final part of this whole video list thing, it is the Majins, guys, okay? So this one's going to be my favorite one so far because I actually took the most time looking for these forms. Most of these are actually confirmed, but the thing is, actually all these are confirmed. So the thing is, guys, these are pretty cool. I think it'd be pretty OP for Snake to add them, but you guys need to keep in mind, these are like needed. Every every race needs their forms. I think the modules, the first thing they should get is absorption. And absorption would be more like absorbing a player. They get a portion of their stats, like maybe half or less, like a percentage, maybe like 10% of the stats get added onto their stats and so on and so forth. That way they can keep doing that. They can spit out the player. That way the player doesn't die. Or if they do it, the player gets like regen and stuff like that. Like the player is like lowered on health. Maybe that'd be pretty cool. And then, guys, I want to show you guys another form that could be adding. Main talked about this, the Demon God form for Majins. Now, if you look at this image right here, Kid Buu absorbed Janemba from the movie, like the movie from um, the tournament when Picon was in it and stuff like that. 
but kid Buu absorbs janemba he looked pretty cool i think majin should get a form similar to this like metal majin's okay but after that absorption then demon god form would be pretty cool demon god form looks so freaking cool guys imagine being a majin with that armor on you guys okay imagine that dude pretty freaking awesome dude that'd be so cool now guys the last thing i want to talk about for majins is this it is confirmed in the series Namekians can do this and Majins can do it. I don't know about humans, Saiyans, or Arcosians just yet, but this form is pretty cool. So, as you guys may have known, Kid Buu, or Kid Buu was created because Majin Buu and the other version of Buu, I think the Fat Buu and the Skinny Buu, both defused. They fissioned. This is a split form between the two. So, Majin Buu, the fat version, became the good version, and the other version, Super Buu, became the bad version, the evil version. And what Super Buu did is he reflected... Uh, Majin Buu's chocolate beam which makes people into chocolate so he can absorb them He reflected that and Majin Buu got absorbed and everything by Super Buu because Majin Buu hit himself and made himself chocolate So with that I think it'd be pretty cool for the player to split into two like maybe like an effect where there are splits in half And then they come back together and the player can switch between a melee build and a key build That way like their melee gets, their gets buffed or their key gets buffed and it's like half and half So like if I had 2,000 melee stats and I had a 1,000 key stats and I made one into my key build I'd have a um, thousand melee stats and then two thousand key stats, and if I did vice versa, it'd be three thousand or two thousand five hundred melee stats and five hundred key stats. I think it'd be pretty cool to do something like that because maybe the players could really, really have fun with this fission form. I think it'd allow Majins to become a lot more powerful than they already are because I think Majins are pretty weak. They get arcade by Saiyans a lot and Arcosians a lot, and I think Majins really need a buff in terms of their power, in terms of like what they can major in because Majins can major in basically anything. I think it'd be pretty cool to give the players the chance to choose what they want, regardless of their level in the future. And that is it, everybody. The video is going to be ending now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. Now, when it comes to videos in the future, guys, if you like this video, guys, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new as well. More videos like this are going to be coming out soon in which I decipher what updates could come and the updates that do come, guys. So if you want stuff like this, guys, make sure you like the video, guys, because I might be working on a video soon where it's like what's left in Final Stand and which what possible updates could Snake do to the game. Stuff that we could really enjoy and the players could enjoy together. That way Snake doesn't get bored with updating. There's a lot of update ideas, guys. So if you really want that to come out, guys, make sure you like this video, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Join my Discord chat and Roblox group and also cop the merch link is down below to everything you need. Until then, it's been your boy Robot. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.